So, I just got done playing basketball. And now I'm home. Hey guys, it's Isaiah. So, I have a question. How do you balance this with this? Or, I mean, whatever thing that's you're doing that's not schoolwork. Doesn't, it doesn't have to be basketball. The easy answer, just do your work first. Okay, I'd like to thank you guys for watching that video. Hope you enjoyed. No, no, I'm just kidding. Now that might not have been the answer that you were looking for, so here's a little bit more of an exciting answer. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the best way to balance schoolwork and sports that may or may not be basketball or other activities. We have our contestants and they must answer the question of how to balance schoolwork and sports. Now is it A, just do your work first, B, just do your work first, or C, take the dog for a walk, get a snack, take a nap, shower, maybe play a game, watch a few shows, and, and then do your work. I know the answer. It's sick. Now, I know there was a lot of kids that when they want to come home after school, after a long day of learning and using their brain, they just want to go to sleep. They just want to take a nap. I mean, me personally, I was never wanting to take a nap after school. I mean, I would just sleep in school. I mean, I mean, at night after I finished my homework. Really, the key is just bringing balance to your life. I don't know how many of you have watched Avatar The Last Airbender, my favorite show of all time, but he would bring balance to the spirit world in the real world. He was the bridge. And at the same time, he would need to bring balance to the world in general. You gotta be like the avatar. Bring balance to your life. Bring balance to your schoolwork and your activities that may or may not be basketball. Now, there's a few keys to bringing balance to your life. First thing, don't take on too much work that you can't handle. We already have a lot of work to do with school as it is. So there's no reason to take on the extra burdens of a lot of after school activities if you don't need to. Now it's not wrong to take on a lot of things. That's not for everybody though. Just make sure that you can handle the amount of work that's going on because schoolwork comes first. So as long as you're getting your schoolwork done, you can do that other stuff as much as you want. Now for the stuff that you do take on, you might want to consider, I know it, it sounds crazy, but putting it in your calendar. Now, I don't do that. Why? Because I'm a rebellious teenager, but that's another story. My parents are watching this now like, wow, he really does listen to us. And lastly, don't be afraid to ask for help. If you need someone to help you manage your time, that's okay. Now, they shouldn't take on the burden of your entire schedule. They should not do that. But if you just need someone there to remind you, hey, you have to do this, make sure you get your schoolwork done. I don't see a problem with that. Now, that person would preferably be a parent, but if you got someone else in mind, that's cool, do you. All right, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. It's been Isaiah and oh, oh my goodness. Look at the time, I'm late for practice.